Welcome back to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. My name is Ricky and this is Zach and today we're going to continue playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 and I will continue to tell you all about Zach. So today we'll be taking on Suburbia, Airport, and Skater Island. Alright, um, so, just to recap a little bit, Zach is looking for redemption. Come on. Okay, there we go. So to recap from last time, Zach, he did some he did some bad stuff um, when he was 22 years old, and he desperately wants to make up for that by um, right now wants to make up for that, and uh, I don't know if I'll actually get skate in this playthrough, but we're gonna. Fry. I definitely won't smash all the pumpkins. And because he wants to find redemption, we're, we're playing the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 doing all this stuff to prove himself um, into the skating world. Because, you know, the skating world needs... They need that proof. Um, and last time I told you why he needs redemption. Uh, today I'm going to talk about... Uh, time. what, what happened in between his, yeah, whatever, he, 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 and then he disappears. That creepy guy disappears at some point, okay. But we're in here, not to do anything else, except to get the secret tape. That I missed. How did I miss? How on earth did I miss that? Okay, we have to do it again. Uh, and we don't have much time left, so... In the first run, and I've done almost absolutely nothing. There we go. Okay. I'd like to get skate, too, since I'm so far into it. Ah! Ah! Come on! Dad gum. Alright, fine. Fine! Fine! It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so last time I mentioned he went to business school. We're going after skate hardcore this time. Um, so last time I mentioned he went to business school. That's how you're supposed to do it. I mean, you're not supposed to get stuck in this thing. In this little skate park in the back of someone's house. So he went to business school, but that's not the only thing he did right after getting excommunicated from the skating world at 22. He also met a girl. And that girl um, would later become his wife because that girl also became with child. Uh, she got her, well, she didn't get herself knocked up. He, he got her pregnant. And, uh, but this was after about a year of dating. So they met basically right as soon as he started business school. Um, you know, maybe don't mess around. Let's just keep going. Uh, <laughs> so after business school or after meeting them uh, they dated for a little while about a year or so when she got pregnant and then right before he opened up the skate shop that I'm pretty sure I talked about last week if not he uh, he came along he, he uh, where's the how many pumpkins do I still I think I still have two more I think I still have two pumpkins left to go now there's this one um So, yeah, okay, one more. I think it's in that backyard that I was just in. Uh, yeah, there it is. There we go. Uh, so, his daughter was born when he was 24 years old, right before he opened up his skate shop. Uh, right before, you know, that's kind of a big change. And he... Um, You know, he, he realized after, you know, when his girlfriend got pregnant that he needed to make, he needed to make some real changes in his life, uh, more than just, and so, uh, m more than just, you know, getting clean cause he got, he was a, he was an alcoholic more than just that, uh, 
He also needed to... Um... Now here's the thing, I don't remember if it's heel flip or tail flip. It is heel flip and I did it in one try and that usually takes me about a thousand tries. So we'll just do some completely... How, my timing is way off. Just to kind of get uh, some stuff. Anyway, so... He, uh... I'm not missing one aside from the... Uh... Hang on. No, okay. So just the high scores are left, and I'm not really... Uh, I'm not gonna get the high scores. Because basically all that is... Is, um... See, now I was able to do it that time, but I was unable to do it the time before, which sort of irritates me. Ah, oh, I thought I had it. So, you know, the, he opens up the skate shop in the, in, in the town he grew up in outside of Chicago. And, uh, he, um, you know, he settles in. To, to a life of owning a skate shop, keeping kids off of being dual weeds like he was. Ah, I missed that. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Because he definitely wanted to make sure that, you know, any 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 uh, skater in his... That uh, works in his... Or that, that, that comes from his skate shop. That they are all um, better off than he was. Ah, I got the high score. That's good news. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, so we got all of them except the... Uh, so, pro score and six score are the two we didn't get. And I'm not worried about those at all. Okay, so I'm going to... Get these pickpocket, pickpockets. Also, I'm going to get the... Special. Hang on. There's another guy up here. There he is. That was awesome. Booyah. Yeah, it's Yippie Kaye, not Yippie Kayo. Activision developers, just in case anyone's wondering. Wait, I thought I stopped that other one. I thought I stopped him. Mm. So, he was living his life. You know, he, he was he, he felt like he was making a difference in ki these kids' lives. Um, which he was doing, by the way. He was making a real difference in these kids' lives. But he was also... Well, that was... Okay. Not great, but... Okay, well, I have S, K, and A... So I might as well get skate. T is over here somewhere, and I don't remember where T is. I think. Watch out. Turn around. I think T's right here. Yep, there was T. Okay. Let's see if I can do around the world. That is not around the world. I don't know if I can get it all done in. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have done the secret tape. Um, and then a documentary film crew came to, to visit him in, in his skate shop. Um, had seen some tape of him skating and was like, this guy's amazing. But what happened to him? Then discovered what happened to him. And yeah, they, uh, they, they, they wanted to give him, a, uh, uh, they wanted to tell his story. Okay, but they didn't just want to tell his story. They were telling the story about, of basically, of skating in. Um, the one thing you can't do here is you can't bail. When you have the skate tickets, you can't bail. And also, the easiest way to go over the top is this way. Um, and so this crew came along. This documentary filmmaker crew was like, we, whew. Oh, that was nerve-wracking. I thought I was going to have to start the level over again. We want to make a story about your skating career and your life since then. And, and you know, he realized... So this was about... 
four years into his um, into his life. So he's 32 now. I probably should have recapped that just in case anyone had forgotten. He's 32 now, but he was um, he was 22 when he got kicked out. So this is he was 24 when he when he opened up his skate shop. This is about now he's 20. 28. So this was when he was 28 because um, he needs to. Oh, come on. That was a terrible balance job on my part. Um, so when he was 28, his daughter was four. He, um, this documentary crew came to him and he began to realize how much he had missed just skating because he hadn't skated since he was 22. Aside from to show a few people. A few things. Let me see if I can get the gap. Oh, it's just gate hop. Never mind. Okay. All right. Got? I don't think I'm gonna get over there in time to do a crooked grind. But we'll find out. Nope, I'm not gonna get there in time. All right. Well, we'll just manual up this. Hey, look at that! I completed the high score. So, shortly after this documentary crew came in, he, um, he built himself a nice, a very nice little, like, mini skate park. Oh, come on, I landed the crooked grind without even trying. Nope. Nope. The, the, the thing about this grind is it's kind of difficult, there we go, to land exactly right. The hardest part is keeping balance. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna spend the rest of the time getting the high score and the six score, and this is the easiest, especially if you land some of these. This is the easiest high score, six score to get. Just uh, pro score, all that. This is all you have to do, because you can just abuse these gaps, and they just multiply your score. Just don't bail, and look. Six score complete with a minute to go. And so he, he, he got himself back into shape by building this tiny little, like, he, he put a quarter pipe in there and he put a, uh, um. Now here's an interesting question. How do I get that? Hmm. So, he got himself back into shape, as you can see, you know. Um, you know, he put he put a bunch of uh, rails and boxes and stuff for him to kind of practice uh, and get back in shape. He got himself back in shape, and he called his good friend Tony Hawk and said, Hey, Tony, um, is there any way, is there, you know, Tony had heard about the documentary, and he so he asked, he asked Tony if there was anything he could do maybe to get... Cool, thanks, dude. So he asked Tony if there's anything Tony could do to help him, you know, repair his reputation. Tony told him about these competitions, um, you know, in Rio and at Skater Island and in Tokyo. And he said, man, if you win Tokyo or even just make it to Tokyo, your reputation is set. And so that's why we're here in... Uh, well, not here specifically, because this is the competition. But that's why we've gone to Canada and all these other places, is specifically so that way he can um, redeem himself. And he can, uh, he can get into the competition. So these competitions are requiring him to do these other ridiculous stuff. How did I not? Okay. This is better. This is good. Now, if only. Okay. 62 is a lot better than. Okay, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. We're just. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, 63 is. Okay. 80s. Okay. Upper 80s. That's good. Okay, we're just in fourth place. We can make this. 
so the other thing was that as he was starting to learn how to skate again, which by the way, it wasn't even about finding redemption at first. Uh, it wasn't until he realized how much his daughter enjoyed watching him skate that he realized that that there's something to this. That there's something to this maybe finding, seeking, getting redemption. There we go. That's better. Oh yeah, okay. Now we're popping ish. Would've been better if I could have Ah, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. At least land a trick. Yeah, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. 10102. Okay, yeah, 90, 90s, that's good. 90s is good. It put us back into, it put us into the top three. All we need is a top three finish here. His daughter, who, uh, again, when he started doing this, was only four, um, uh, loved watching, you know, her daddy skate. She, he, she really thought it was kind of, was really cool to see. I didn't, I don't even think I hit the manual button at that point. I think the game just tricked me into manually. What is going on with this third run here? No! No! There, okay. Now that time I will admit I did manual. What? Well, this sucks. All right, well. So his daughter enjoyed watching him skate, and he realized that he needed this. This. He needed to be better. Obviously not this terrible run, third run. But still third place. And so because watching his daughter watching him skate and really loving it, realized he remembered how much he loved skating before the competition got into it. And that's why he called Tony, and that's why he's doing all this. It's for his daughter. So those are the next three levels in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Next time, we'll take on the final two levels, and I will finish telling you Zach's story. This has been Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more Pro Skater.